small businesses like restaurants and entertainment venues are getting a boost from the state to help them get through the pandemic. Governor Hogan announced a $250 million relief package on Thursday. WMR2 News is Megan Knights at the live desk with more on where that money is intended to go and who, Megan, it is supposed to help. Well, Christian, this money really is just meant to prop up these small businesses all around the state so that they can stay open and also continue to employ people, too. So, for example, part of this money, $50 million, that will be going directly to restaurants so that they can purchase things like outdoor heaters, for example, if they want to continue to offer outdoor dining. $20 million will go to businesses and local entertainment venues within the Main Street, Maryland and Baltimore Main Street pro programs. $5 million is going to be given to fund low interest loans to small minority businesses and then $2 million is going to be set aside for tourism efforts to pr promote restaurants, local attractions and mom and pop shops. Now during yesterday's news conference, Hogan was asked about the jurisdictions who are still a little bit behind on the reopening process. He said that while it is their choice on how quickly they want to reopen, he is urging every county and city to get back to as close to capacity as possible to save these small businesses. We still have businesses that aren't open, 25% capacity in restaurants, closing things at 10 o'clock that are open later and everywhere else in the state. And so, you know, we don't want to take away their authority, but we continue to encourage them because it's hurting our business community and we believe that we're doing a good job of staying on top of the, uh, the metrics on the health side. And this money is going to be coming from the state's rainy day fund. And Hogan said that if the federal government does end up passing some sort of stimulus package, that Christian, he might be able to put some of that state's relief money back into that rainy day fund.